All right, this one's gonna ruffle some feathers. First of all, out for the day, for the day. What is it giving? What is this outfit giving? It's giving, I wear your grandma's clothes. I don't look incredible. Cause I had to get up with the kids and do all the homeschool things and get us ready to get out the door cause it is grocery day and run all the errands and do all the things. And this is all I had time to put on. I didn't think about it twice. All I know is I'm comfortable. Okay, so we're not gonna judge. It ain't cute. I'm comfy. I'm gonna ruffle some feathers here. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty certain plenty of people are not going to hear about this at all, but I just want to, I just want to say it because it's a genuine concern I have. Okay. I just wonder if y'all know the GLP ones, the semaglutides, the Ozempic, the tri whatever's all the things that's slowing down your digestive system and not allowing you to process toxins in the way that your body needs to at the speed that your body needs to and able to rid yourself of those toxins before they actually start to have effects on you and your body and your major organs um, neurologically, all the things. Um, it's going to cause long-term damage. If this is something you're on for a quick fix to lose some weight, then by golly gee, do it and cool, you lost some weight and then you stop and you don't ever do it again. You might gain it back, at least that's what people say. People are saying, I haven't tried it myself. Um, tempting, quick fixes are tempting, but I'm sorry the logic behind what it's making your body do, like you just have to know it's so bad for you. You have to know it's going to have long-term effects. Things are gonna start shutting down. Things are not gonna work properly. It's not normal what this is making your body do. It's not. So this is not to judge or ridicule or critique. This is as just like, a, I don't know if you thought about it, if you're on it or thinking about doing it and you really truly care about your actual overall health. And I know, I know it's getting prescribed to people with diabetes and what have you, um, but there are other methods. You also might be thinking, well, this is easier to get. This is easier to, get, easier to get. It's coming from this way, that way, this way, that way. You can get it from all these different brands. Insurance is covering a portion of it, whatever. But also, my fellow conspiracy theorists, as I like to call us realists, um, don't we all realize by this point that if something is really that, especially from anything that has to do with the medical field, if it's that easily accessible to us and that easily attainable, and especially as trendy as it is, like you just... You have to ponder, even if you don't believe in any of that stuff, you have to ponder, why is it so popular? Why is it so easily accessible? Why is it so trendy? Why are so many people using this and nobody's talking about the precautions, the repercussions, I should say. Just wanna say, Take the extra thought before this is something you think about doing long term. Like I said, if it's short term and you want to lose a few pounds and whatever, and then you're done with it, you won't touch it again. Give your body the opportunity to actually like get back to what it's supposed to be doing. Um, but if there's something you plan on doing long term, and even if it is something that's been prescribed to you from your doctor for like diabetes or something, just know that there are other options. There are other healthier options. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I had gestational diabetes. Okay. Granted, I don't have it outside of pregnancy currently. It's in my bloodline. Could have it. Don't know. We'll, you know, we'll see when we get there. I'll, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But there are other methods. Diabetic diets are not the most fun. They're not the most intriguing. And they're not easy like it is just taking these medications. Um, but these medications will have long-term effects if you're taking this long-term. I'm not a doctor. You don't have to take my word for it, but I'm an able-bodied person who has the mind to do research and figure things out on my own and also understand the autonomy of our major organs and inner workings and things enough to know that like it's not normal. It's going to have repercussions. What that makes your body does is not. Okay. Um, wishing you all well. And um, I hope for the sake of everyone who's taking it long term that it does not affect you in that way. But Chances are it's going to have long-term effects. So just, just take the extra, take the extra thought, do some extra research, see what else you could do. <laughs> the quick fixes for the weight loss. Mm, maybe don't try a quick fix. Goodbye. Okay,